matter is very serious and time sensitive. We are calling you from investigation team of IRS. We have just received a notification regarding your tax filings from the headquarters which will get expired in next 24 working hours. And once it get expired after that you will be taken under custody by the local cops. As there are four serious allegations pressed on your name at this moment. We would request you to get back to us so that we can discuss about this case before taking any legal action against you. The number to reach us is 254-316-3034. I repeat, 254-316-3034. Thank you. Thank you for calling Dexin Audit Department. How may I help you today? Hey, uh, it sounds like I'm going to jail. I'm a little concerned about that. What's going on? I just want to let me check out it. Uh, did you receive any phone call from us? Yes, I did. That's why I'm calling you. Okay. Can you please help me out with your parcel license? I can just pull out your file. Sure. Uh, Mike. H U N T Hunt. Hunt. H U N T. I'm I'm looking for Mr. Christ. Is that you? Mr. Who? Mr. Price. No, I'm Mr. Hunt. No, I'm looking for Mr. Price Grisham. Is that you? Uh, hang on, I can go get him. Ha ha Sorry? I can go get him. That's that's my dad. That's your dad. I just want to speak with your dad because uh, this is something serious about his tax filing. That's the reason. Oh well, I do all of his taxes. He's uh, the problem is he's got a really bad case of herpes and can't talk. So uh, I have to do all his taxes for him. So you file his taxes? Yes, I file his taxes sometimes. I don't always do it Some... because because he doesn't like to pay his taxes. Uh, what's your name? Mike. Mike. Okay, Mr. Mike. Uh, the reason you have received a phone call from us is to inform you that we found there are some serious allegations in his tax filing. Okay, actually what happened is that we have conducted the random audit of his tax papers from the years of 2012 to 2016 and we found that there was a miscalculation in his tax filing. Okay. Oh good. Does miscalculation that mean, in... Does that mean yeah. he's going to get a refund? Uh, we found that miscalculation. Okay, the amount which he which which he has paid, he paid less than the uh, the amount which he supposed to pay. He paid less than that amount. Okay, so oh, that's well, the reason that we have contacted him in informing you about it, this thing. Oh, okay. Right? So how much do uh, how much so, was he supposed to pay? Um, sir, I tell you, I tell you, it's in everything. Okay, can you do one thing? Can you please take a piece of paper and pen? I would like to give you some information about his case. So can you please take a piece I'm of paper ready. and pen? I am ready. You are ready. So Hang sorry, on a second. Hang on. I need to change my dad's diaper real quick. Hang on one second. Yes. Once you get ready, please inform me, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Hang on. He just crapped all over himself. He's not well. Hang on. Oh, looks like my wife has got it. Okay. You got it? Okay. All right. He's so you are ready? Yeah, he's good. He, it was pretty messy. So, so first of all, you note down my name. My name is Officer Wilson Walker. Officer who? Who when? Wilson Walker. Will? How do you spell your last name? It's W A L K E R Walker. Oh, Wilson Walker. Okay, like Texas Ranger Walker. Okay. After that, you note down my batch ID number. My batch ID number is W J. W for the Wilson, J for the Jalice, WJ, 3342. Excellent. 3342. Okay? It's actually my favorite number. That's weird. Oh. So this is my bad ID number and note down your case number. And your case number is CA, C for the cat, A for the apple, CA. Yep. Four eight six four eight six seven five two. Four eight six seven five two. Is it okay? Mm, got it. 
Can you please repeat your case number just to verify that you have moved down this correctly or not? Yep, I've got CA like California 486752. 486752, okay? Yeah, that sounds like a very serious number, okay? Uh, so now I'm going to give you the information about his case. But before I give you the information about his case, I would like to inform you that on the line which we are talking right now, I've been recorded and monitored by the IRS and the local authorities. So I request you when I'm giving you the information, you do not disturb me, you do not interrupt me. Once I'll complete my part, after that I will give you a chance to speak and to your questions in front of me. And I will answer all of your questions, but when I'm speaking, you will not interrupt me, is it okay? Is it okay, Mr. Mike? Uh, I'm sorry, what was that? I told you that on the line which we are talking right now, I've been recorded and monitored by the IRS headquarters and the legal department. So when I'm giving you the information, you do not disturb me, you do not interrupt me. Once I'll complete my part, after that I will give you a chance to speak and put your questions in front of me and I will answer all of your questions, but when I'm speaking, you will not interrupt me, okay? Okay. Okay. Okay, so Mr. Mike, there are four types of allegations against Wait, did name. you say earlier I'm not supposed to interrupt you, or if I need to interrupt you? You should not disturb me, you should not interrupt me when I'm giving you the information. Once I complete my part, after that I will give you a chance to speak, okay? Okay. Okay, so Mr. Mike, I was telling you that there are four types of allegations against his name, and the allegations are count one. So if I have a question, do I have to wait? I have to wait until the end to ask my question? You have to wait. I'll ask. I'll give you all the answers when I'm complete my part, okay? Okay, so don't interrupt you. Yeah. So I was telling you there are four types of allegations against his name, and, and the allegations are counts one, violation of federal IRS rules and regulations, count two. Am I able to interrupt if I don't understand? Because I didn't, I didn't hear the first one. I did. Okay, I'll tell you it again and slow, I'll, I'll speak it slowly. I was telling you there are four types of allegations, and the allegations are count one, violation of federal IRS rules and regulations, count two, deficiency in income tax, count three, theft by deception. Are these counts or charges? Count four, Count for willful misrepresentation of information to a government organization. So okay. as for the documentation, we have determined that there are those in order of most. Are those in orders of, of like most serious no, to least? If you trust me, then I am not interested in telling you the information. Right? I told you these things twice. That do not disturb me when I'm giving you the information. Oh, I wasn't disturbing you. I was just asking you a question. I told you that I'll give you a chance to speak and put your question in front of me, right? I'll give you a chance to speak. So you have to give me permission first? Yeah. Okay, so are you going to tell me I can speak or are you just going to, is there a time, is there a beeper or like a tone when I can speak or how will I know that I, that I can speak? I'll tell you, sir, when you have to speak, right? Okay, all right. So I was telling you that we have audited your tax papers from the years of 2012 to 2016, and we found that there was a miscalculation in your in his tax filing. Okay, we, we found that there was a miscalculation in the tax return in the years of 2013, 2014, and 2015. So we have recalculated your tax papers <coughs> along with the interest and penalty and we found that there is an outstanding tax of uh, four thousand seven hundred and seventy five dollars. What kind of so calculator did you use? The amount which he which he's supposed to pay, he paid less than that amount. Yeah, was it was okay. it like a hand calculator or sorry? What kind of calculator was used? Actually we have Actually, we found that there was a miscalculation. Okay, we have audited the tax penalty and interest based on his wages. Yeah. And the other other income reported to us by his uh, financial institution. And we found the information what we have and what the information what we have got. 
it's not matching okay so that's the reason that we have contact you and informing you about this thing mm, okay that's terrible okay so as the section 101 as there is a miscalculation in his tax filing the irs is legally authorized to seize his property his bank account his debit card his credit card in short whatever he has on his name will be seized and suspended okay he will be not able to access his bank account since the time it is frozen and confiscated his social security number could be up on me 